Hi, I'm Candace Bushnell, and welcome to the Broad Room. You know, I have a little sister who's married. She has two kids. She doesn't work. I totally respect her choices. I do. I just, I just could not imagine asking my husband for money every day. It would freak me out. Men, men, they are, they are just a completely different species, right? Whether you're working with them or when you're having a relationship with them, they're tricky. Yeah. But I did have this boss once. She seemed to have it all figured out. Hey, kid, just closed on a multi, multi-million dollar project I'm going out to celebrate, and you have been elected. <laughs> you remind me of me when I was first starting out. So I'm going to let you in on one of my little secrets. When it comes to men in business, you've got to be like a carpenter, you know. Use all the tools in your toolbox. And when it comes to really tough guys, vanilla. Seriously, it is like catnip to men. <laughs> Don't look so shocked. The girl's got to eat. So Julie and I finally get this meeting with Jack Coyne, and I am totally excited. And on the day of the meeting, she sends me an email. Jack Coyne's in a totally bad mood. He's already yelled at five people, and he kicked a kid. Wait, I heard this story. Didn't he throw a chair? I thought it was a phone. No, it wasn't a phone. It wasn't a chair. It was a kid, and he kicked him. <laughs> So I'm thinking, great, the day of our meeting. So I thought of this lesson that my first boss taught me, vanilla. So I said, OK, I'm going to try it. But I figured it wouldn't work anyway, because we all know men can't smell. So the 35 to 55-year-old segment is the fastest growing market. We have a, a three-platform integration on music, product, What's and smell? personalities. So our, our research shows that the audience is changing. I know that smell. Well, I, uh, I don't smell anything. Do you? No. I recognize that smell, and it makes me so happy. <laughs> and after that, the meeting went great. OK, fine. I do feel, I feel a little bad about, you know, using a prop to close a deal, but uh, sometimes you need a little help. I no, guess. it's like uh, having a muffin top. Sometimes you have to forget the yoga and go right for the lipo. <laughs> you know what I do? I let the man think he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And you know what? It doesn't take that much effort. All it takes is a question about him. A single question, you're as good as done. Absolutely. Yes, because men always believe their own bullshit. <laughs> Women, on the other hand, know better. Okay, that's not true. I kind of believe my own bullshit. <laughs> uh, you know what, ladies? I need to take a break. So I was talking to my mom this morning, and I was complaining about having to wake up at 7.30. She laughed at me and told me that she's been waking up at 4.45 every single weekday for the last 20 years. She wakes up, she goes to the gym, she goes to work, she has meetings, she goes to lunch, she comes back to work and has more meetings, goes to a client dinner, and comes home. I realized that this could be my life. This, this will be my life, and, and I, don't, I don't want that. I don't want to be doing the same thing every day. I want excitement. Hello. Can I get rid of this now? Oh. Is that you in there? Yeah, every four hours. Oh, sometimes I wonder why I bother. You see this? That ain't lipstick, girls. It's armor. What's that noise? It's pumping. You mean, like, breast milk? Not like breast milk. Breast milk. Breast milk? That is just so gross. Listen, honey, it took me five years to get pregnant with my second kid. There's no way I'm getting him formula. Ew. Well, can I borrow your lipstick? Sure, honey. You see this visage? Cool, calm, collected? It wasn't always like this. The other day, I was thinking, what would my 20-something self think of my 40-something self? And I think that my 20-something self would run screaming from the room. My 20-something self would have said, stab me if I end up like this. Because my 20-something self thought that she knew everything, and she didn't know squat. 
She had no idea that she would end up 40-something, divorced, and running her own business, and doing a damn good job, by the way. But if my 40-something self could give advice to my 20-something self, this is what I would tell her. I'd say, honey, there is not a damn thing you can do about getting older. It happens to everybody, but it's your job to get better. Fall in love with color all over again. Maybelline redefines red. The color of passion. New color sensational from Maybelline New York. Pure pigments for richer, crisper color. Honey nectar for our most luscious feel. New color sensational. Maybe it's Maybelline.